Hey iPod Touch second generation users. Have you been sad because all your first generation friends have been able to jailbreak? Making your silly features like speakers and the volume toggle obsolete? Tired of the same boring old four icon dock and boring apps that you have to pay for all the time? Is it a hassle? Do you want the beautiful background and the, the five icon dock and any app you want for free? Are you bummed out that this only applies to those that bought early on? I know you thought that you were getting a good deal from Apple. I get the new one, the one with the speakers and the slim figure and all those wonderful features. But Apple cheated you. They cheated you because this, this is beautiful. This is not. This is Apple. As beautiful as it is, it's not nearly as beautiful as this. But don't worry, never fear. Now with Quick Freedom, you can have it too. Yay! You can have the beauty of the dev team jailbreak combined with Apple's innovative software and of course hardware that you've come so fond of. So to maximize your purchase, watch this video. Okay, so you all know what the final product's going to be. You want a badass iPod Touch. It's going to look pretty, and it's going to do everything you ever dreamed of and more, and get you free games, and free Spanish to English dictionaries to cheat in Spanish class, and everything you'd ever want, right? You know what you're, you know what you're looking for when you come for a jailbreak video. So this is the final product, you know that. And first generation Touch users have been able to have that forever. And now, second generation users get to have the, the same beauty and pleasure. With Quick Freedom, you go about the same general uh, idea as you would with the original, only you'd use Quick Freedom. So for Quick Freedom, you're going to uh, follow the link in the description, it'll take you to the download of Quick Freedom, and you'll also follow another link in the description for a firmware. And uh, you know, the same basic stuff you'd always do with Jailbreak. You'll download those, the firmware will take about an hour, Quick Freedom will take about three minutes on a crappy connection, you'll be fine. It won't be a big deal. Then you'll install, you know, you'll, you'll run the setup for Quick Freedom, you'll install it, and uh, when, when you have that done, it'll, it'll, you know, ask if you want to create a desktop icon, you'll click yeah, sure, why not. You'll find that, and you'll, you'll right click that, and you'll go to properties, if this is for Vista, for Vista users. If, if you're on XP, just run it as is. If you're on Vista, you'll want to, uh, You'll want to go to your desktop, and yeah, I'm failing at this. You'll want to go to your desktop, and you'll see the little icon. It's pretty. And you'll uh, right click on it if you're running Vista, and you'll hit properties. I think I missed properties. I did. <laughs> you'll hit properties, go to compatibility, and you'll just want to check run compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2. Run as administrator, and click apply. Hit OK. Then you'll run it, just like you would, you know, Quick Pwn or any other jailbreak service. You'll run it, and once it's been run, it'll pop up, and you'll. I'm already halfway through. I'm just gonna skip some of these steps. It'll be pretty easy. You'll uh, basically you'll click. There's gonna be something called a lib USB. You'll install that, and if you have the new version, which I'll post the link for, it'll it'll tell you how to do that properly on XP or I mean on Vista and XP. And you'll identify your uh, your IPSW that you downloaded your computer as you would on any jailbreak service, and you'll click next, and it'll say you know you'll get to the create a custom firmware part. You'll just choose if you want installer, if you want different boot logos, all that stuff. You'll hit create firmware, and it'll create form firmware. It'll take about five to ten minutes, and it'll be no big deal. And then you'll get to this part, which is what I'm about to embark on: the beautiful DFU mode. Yeah. It's, it's pretty. It's your so for this lovely DFU mode, you're going to uh, take your iPod, Ooh, iPod, and 
you're going to hold the home and the power for 10 sorry the home and the power for 10 seconds and then you're going to keep holding the home and at which point eventually drive will pop up in the bottom corner of your screen and quick feel will register that you are now in DFU mode so you want to do that and this may be kind of hard to see but I don't care because I don't know how to do it and I just said how to do it alright you can see this alright so you're going to hold 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release, hold, this, hold up. Do, 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 do. And then, and there's our driver message. Keep holding the button. Go now, you've got your lovely little driver messages. Why the hell is it not registering as in DOV mode? Interesting. Sorry, I did have it right. It just took a little while to uh, register on Quick Freedom. So, yeah, now you've got this lovely little white screen. That's okay, though, because now you're in pre-jailbreak mode. See? Pre-jailbreak mode. Now restore your custom firmware. So, the firmware that you made using this lovely Quick Freedom on your desktop. And that was where it default put it, and it named it custom firmware. So you're going to want to open up iTunes. Oops, I didn't, oh, damn, didn't mean to drag that there. Oh well, whatever. Anyways, iTunes, which you should have open to begin with, but that's okay, because apparently mine closed itself. But yes, so you're going to go to iTunes, and hey, the cover, it, it, okay, yes, it discovered one in recovery mode. That's nice. You're going to shift, click on restore, and it'll give you this. This way you can choose what you want to, just to restore your iPod with. You'll go to your desktop. You'll browse. Oh, there's your custom firmware. Isn't it pretty? It's super pretty. And so you found that lovely custom firmware. So, you'll just hit open. This part, you'll just have to wait for about 10 minutes. It'll extract and do all its lovely little work. And it will remain in the white screen for quite some time. But that's okay, that's what you want, that's pre-jailbreak mode, and now Apple's doing all the work for you. It's taking the custom firmware that you've hacked, and it is implicating it into your iPod Touch. So you'll let that happen, and I'll get back to you when it's done. And so there you have it. You have your jailbreaking second generation iPod Touch. Much better than the first. Because it has speakers and a volume toggle, you'll be able to flaunt in all your first generation fanboys' faces. Holy crap. Talk about alliteration. But seriously, enjoy.